guys, thanks for stopping by today, the California Burrito. Originating in San Diego, California back in the 1980s, it's marinated carne asada beef placed in a large flour tortilla topped with cheddar cheese, french fries, pico de gallo, and anything else you can think of. We're also going to be making up some carne asada fries. Real delicious. Everything you're going to need for this recipe is listed under video in the description box. Just click the more button. It'll take you where you need to go. So let's get started with this. First, I want to make my pico de gallo. You can actually do this overnight. Pico de gallo, by the way, means rooster's beef. Go figure. But refrigerated at least three hours. Now, the type of beef we're going to be using is skirt steak. It has a tendency to have tough muscle fibers. So what I want to do is take a sharp knife and score along both sides of this meat with this sharp knife. That's going to help to break up some of those tough muscle fibers and also help the marinade get into the beef. Typically this type of beef needs to be marinated. I'm also going to take the meat tenderizer, pound it on both sides, and again that's going to help break up those muscle fibers and help that marinade get in there. Once you get that done, set that aside. Now we'll start our marinade. In a measuring cup or a bowl, add some extra virgin olive oil, juice of one lemon, the juice of one lime, the juice of a half of an orange, some cilantro and some salt and pepper. Give that a mix and just place your beef in a baking tray and pour your marinade over all of your beef. Make sure it's well covered. What we're going to do is put this in the fridge to marinate for at least three hours. I don't like to go any longer than six hours because of the type of marinade. It'll tend to make your meat mushy if you leave it any longer. Cover it up with plastic wrap, place it in the fridge, and after marinating, place it on some paper towels. Take another wad of paper towels and pat it dry as much as you can because we don't want this meat to steam once we put it on our hot pan. It'll steam rather than sear that way, so make sure it's really dry. Now I'm going to be using a flat iron griddle. I've got it on high heat, hit it with a little vegetable oil, smear it in just to give it a light coating, then place your beef on there and cook it about two and a half, three minutes per side. Make sure it's got good contact. We want to season it with some kosher salt and fresh ground black pepper. And after a couple of minutes, give it a flip. Cook it another couple of minutes. And after that, place it on a cutting board to rest for 5 or 10 minutes. Now, once it's uh, rested, you can see the muscle fibers or the, the grain is running this way. We want to cut against the grain. Make sure you cut against the grain, guys, because if you don't, it's going to be tough when you bite into it. You can cut this up into small pieces or you can cut it up into strips. I've got this rare to medium rare, and I like to do it strips for this dish because it just works well in the burrito. Now, what I'm going to set aside is some other beef cut up like this because that's going to go in our carne asada fries. And once you get that cut up, just set that aside for now while we work on our fries. Just place your fries in your fryer for, at 350 degrees and take five or six minutes to do that until they're crisp. Season with some kosher salt. Then pour your carne asada marinated beef on top of your fries. Top it off with some grated cheddar cheese. Now what I want to do now is I want to take this paper out of my basket and I'm going to put this in a, a microwave for about 50 seconds to melt that cheese. And after that, you can see the cheese is melted. Next, I want to add some pico de gallo. Now you can add guacamole sour cream. I don't like that, but feel free to do that if you like. Don't that look good? It smells amazing. Man, I tell you what, I can't wait to eat these fries. Anyway, carne asada fries. Okay, now let's build our burrito. Now we're going to take our beef in a flour tortilla. It's a 12 inch flour tortilla. Just put it on one side, fill it with some french fries, add some pico de gallo, and again you can put guacamole and sour cream if you want. Add some cheddar cheese, then just fold, tuck, and roll. And look at this monster. That thing is huge, guys. If you've never seen a 12-inch flour tortilla, man, I tell you what, it is absolutely huge. But there you go, guys, the California Burrito. Thanks, Ryan Jarrett, one of my subscribers, for requesting this. I'm really going to enjoy this. Carne asada fries, 
California burrito, nothing better. Guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe if you try it. Let me hear from you. I'd love to. And until next time, guys, enjoy this video.